Well, they're going to talk about nuclear fallout here and how to protect how to protect yourself. Now, uh, why I put this up there is well, kind of twofold maybe. One, give you an idea of what how how to protect yourself, and two, all of you will be heading for a shelter, whether it's your basement or someplace else. Now you're going to be down here a while. Things could happen. It doesn't even need to be a a nuclear attack. It could be 150 mile an hour winds that crumble your house up right on top of you. And it could just happen to a whole lot of people at one time. It could be weeks, months, years before they get to you to dig you out. So I'm going to warn you ahead of time right now. Put a couple shovels in the basement. Put a couple picks in the basement. Maybe a matic. Chainsaw if you got it. An axe if you got it. Uh, let's see. Well, a sledgehammer. A sledgehammer for breaking up. If you have cement block basement, you can break them. You can break those uh, cement blocks up pretty good to get out. You might want some kind of extension ladder down there so that you can climb up out of there. Because the older you get, it's going to be harder to get out of there. So something to think about. And another thing. Not only with the tools. But how many people, maybe 1% of the American people, have a flashlight and extra batteries down in their basement? If there's no power, you're not going to be able to see. And just to make things a little bit more cozier, get a flashlight down there, a couple set of batteries for it, and then go from there. Call it a public service announcement. I don't care what you call it. Let's see the... Thanks for watching.